Hello everyone. Hope this day finds you well. I miss you all very much. Um, I just looked out my window and it was snowing and the sun was shining. So mother nature is having a hard time making up her mind today or his mind as to what kind of weather we're going to have for today. So if you get a chance, look out your window and see what it's doing out there because I am not kidding when I say I looked out once and it was almost like a blizzard and it was the snow was really coming down hard and then two minutes later I looked out and the sun was shining and it didn't even look like there was any clouds in the sky. So it's a really um, kind of this way or that way day for weather. So if you get a chance, take a look out your window. Um, but a little snow never hurt anybody and obviously we know the sun doesn't hurt us so if you get a chance go outside and take a walk today see if you can see any signs of spring i've noticed a few flowers popping up here and there and that's really exciting to me because um i find that the older i get the winters seem to drag on longer and longer for me and i kind of get a little well annoyed with dealing with all the snow so i'm ready for open water, boating, and summer activities, and warm weather for those summer activities. So today is going to be a little different with our animal of the day. We're going to have two animals of the day. So um, the reason being is because our local game warden, Mr. Richard, had come across an injured eagle. He had got a call on an injured eagle. And the eagle is one of my favorite birds. They're a beautiful, majestic bird. So I wanted to share the photo and video that he um, has of this eagle being fed. Um, it's really unusual to be able to see an eagle up so close. So that's why I wanted that to be our first animal of the day. So I will post that photo and video under in our class dojo story for you guys to get a close up view of that eagle. So that's one of our animal of the day. Um, the other one, and I know that there's someone that's going to be really happy to see this one. This is the King Penguin. Yay! So say hello to our King Penguin. And if you look at the shaded areas, you can kind of get a glimpse of where you would have to go to see the King Penguin. It is the Antarctic Islands. So... These guys do not like warm weather. So we do not have penguins uh, here in this area. Um, and this is where these penguins are located. They like, they wish it would be winter all the time. That's what they want. And where they are, it pretty much is. So let's see what kind of facts we can learn about this animal of the day. It says sometimes people confuse penguins with ox. However, it is easy to tell them apart. Penguins cannot fly, whereas ox, except for now extinct great auk, can. Also, penguins live in the southern hemisphere and ox live in the northern hemisphere. Penguins are popular at zoos and the king penguin is the most popular penguin of all. Very large, standing upright on its short legs. It waddles when it walks. Its head is slender and it has a long pointed beak. <clears throat> um, penguins lay eggs in two periods November, December, and February and March the female lays one egg on the ground then she rolls it onto her feet with the help of her beak and puts it in the fold of her skin to keep it warm both male and female take care of the egg literally standing turns for five day shifts eggs hatch after 55 days until they are one month old the little birds stay near their parents after that they are gathered together and a few adults watch over this daycare center while the others feed at sea the king penguin is well adapted to marine life its wings act both as oars and fins king penguins swim at great speed they can dive very deep to catch their prey which is squid shellfish and other fish so there is our second animal of the day. We have the eagle and the king penguin today. So today's a really special day. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful April break. I hope we get some decent weather. I hope you're able to take some time to do things that you enjoy, all while still practicing social distancing that's been recommended by our doctors and our Center for Disease Control. Um, 
it's very healthy to get outside and get that fresh air. So, you know, practice that with your families as well. So I hope you all have a great vacation, a great weekend, a great day, and I miss you all. Bye.